What's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So we are back with the fish and drones update, and in this episode, we've got we got a lot of stuff to do because our base is going to have to expand even bigger to what it already is. I know I can't believe it, can you? So we need to get some resources lined up to do that. Now the main resource we need is iron, and what better way to start off the episode by building a brand new tier three ore extractor? just getting iron oh it's gonna be so good it's gonna be good, so good so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already um so a little bit of what i did between episodes here is i went through and i kind of just uh was looking at stuff so this guy is making our, our food so i actually just went ahead and i set up the uh the supply to the food and i set up a crate over here for the um the food uh as you can see here so now it automatically fills that up and then we also have a water supply here i went ahead and i set up a um a supply on this guy so that way it'll automatically oh nitrogen did i not set up the uh, i must not have set up the the storage i said i named it but i didn't set it up so yeah nitrogen okay so we need to go ahead and set up a demand for nitrogen so that'll automatically be brought in here but the goal is to get everything automated everything good so that way everything is nice and clean and tidy but we need to we're gonna have to expand the base so what we need to do more than anything is we need to get iron so let's go ahead and let's get our ore extractor tier three. We need iridium rod and osmium rod and three titanium. So, um, I already have super alloy rod. So osmium rod and an iridium rod. Okay, the osmium rod might be the problem because yeah, the osmium rod might be the problem. Maybe we should set up osmium first and dedicate an osmium drill, and then we can set up the iron, and then we could set up. Um, let's see osmium super alloy Yeah, so we need to get the osmium going. Unfortunately, we can't just drill super alloy. Um, no, yes, we can Oh my gosh. Yes, we can what am I even thinking? We absolutely can we need to get those three set up first because those ones are gonna allow us to build more so We need to set up the drills to allow us to build more drills. That's what we're gonna do this episode That's gonna be the whole focus is getting our drills set up, getting automation set up so that way we can have all of the goodies. Darn it, I have an inventory completely full of stuff. It's terrible, I know. Wait, what is, hold on a second. You know what, I, I could set up, I could set up the automation on that. I don't know if it's within range or not, but I'm not going to right now because I don't want to automate that. Um, I want to have the drills only getting the required, the materials that I want specifically. So I'm gonna leave those alone for now. We just got some bean seeds apparently <laughs> um but yeah let's go ahead and let's set up i think we have an actually we should have enough osmium now to get a rod maybe and we'll set up our first drill and osmium one and we'll select osmium hopefully and hopefully it'll only get osmium that's gonna be that's gonna be the plan osmium rod okay we've got that i need an iridium rod and three titanium that is easy enough so iridium i got plenty of those and then titanium we got plenty of that one two three okay so let's take this over here actually you know what i have did we let's take those those all get grabbed real fast take those okay good I had to get my stuff cleaned out a little bit oh my gosh that is so nice <laughs> that is like the best that might be the best update this game ever gets like I mean, they could add amazing things like vehicles, whatever the the auto sorting system and like auto storage. That system alone is just so nice, especially when you've been playing this game for so long, because there's a lot of items to like juggle around and there's a lot of items to lose. So being able to have those like auto sorted like that is absolutely insane. All right. So, um, we are good for our tier three drill so we're gonna set that up here we're gonna go into here and i want osmium select the type of resource to extract and then we're going to supply osmium that is what we're gonna do and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take this bad boy down can't const oh darn it uh let's go ahead and take this bad boy down now didn't drop anything did we nope perfect so that is now going to supply osmium now the question i'm wondering is is this actually within range of the of our drone hub or is the drone hub like an entire network where we don't have to have 
I feel like we're going to have to have multiple drone networks to uh, to get everything synced. But I can't tell. You know what? We'll just leave it and we'll come back. If, uh, huh, if we come back and it's completely full, it's out of the drone network. But if not, then we'll just assume that the drone network covers the entire planet. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so wild because I honestly, I honestly thought this base would be plenty big. I never thought that this base would be too small, and it's it's getting to the point where it's too small. So, uh, can I go ahead and make another osmium rod? I can indeed. So we got super alloy rod, osmium rod, iridium rod. And we got three titanium. We can go ahead and set up another one. So let's go set up a super alloy uh, one right over yonder. Um, no, cave. Cave is where the super alloy is at. So we're gonna go set that up now. Like I said, these might be too far away, but if they are, what we could always do is we could set up another drone hub over here, throw a couple drones on it, and then throw an inventory, hopefully in between where they will connect. So one could be a, um... oh, well, how that, that wouldn't work though, because they would, you can't set up one chest to be a supply and a demand. Hmm. It'd be kind of nice if we could do that. I wonder if, I wonder if that's something that maybe we'll ever get to where we can set up as like a, a primary and a secondary primary being um supply secondary being demand like if the chest is full or maybe primary for one secondary for another system i you know i'm not actually sure so let's go ahead and we'll set this up um right there and we want the super alloy fantastic and then what do we got in here? Oh, we'll take all that super alloy goodness out of there. Heck yeah. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Actually, you know what? Um, I want three titanium. I'd rather take the iron than anything. And then we'll get rid of that. We'll keep the Ozzy. Keep that. Okay. All right. We'll keep that stuff. Let's go ahead and grab in here. Grab the rest of the super iron of that. Grab that. I want to take this one down because we just don't need it anymore. All right, so we are good. I set this up and you can see we've got drones on the way here. Um, so that's working. We got this guy taken out. I had to drop some stuff because my inventory was completely full. Um, my food is terribly low and I don't have any food on me. So we need to head back to the base pronto. But if that's working, I feel like the drone network is probably, it's probably the entire map wide, which is good. And I'm really happy to hear that. I was worried that it was only gonna have so far. I mean, it might not be the whole map wide. It might just be really big and we're still within the range. But um, I need to go back and grab some food. And then we're going to, uh, so that we got Super Alley going, we've got Osmium going. The next thing that we need to get going is um, Iridium. We have so much Iridium, it's absolutely ridiculous. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the base and we'll uh, we'll get some we'll get some stuff going from there. Actually, you know what? I should just let it run for a little bit so we can get the resources. Then we can go set up a whole bunch of drills all at once. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so I had a thought while sitting here. Um, we're getting osmium <laughs> as you can see i think we're getting osmium pretty good and let's see super alley looks pretty good too um I, but i thought we were sitting here and that was that we have an osmium mine going so this is going to fill up this inventory and then once it's full it's going to leave it there right so as soon as we take any osmium out of here it's going to refill this immediately so like we almost don't need backup inventories because if we set up a thing for super alloy um aluminum cobalt all that stuff it's gonna just leave it in the miner until we need it then we can pull it from here you know what i'm saying so we almost don't even need like like backup storage we almost only need one of each one because i mean do we need two of each one i don't know I, we're gonna leave two of each one for now because like i already have two of each one but now that we have the system in place um it's kind it's really nice it is like super nice to not have to worry about that but okay so now that we've got those going um, let's see what else we need for what else do we need for these so we need titanium and then iridium so we probably should go set up one for iridium um hydration level critical that's fine so let's go set up one for iridium because that is like you know with the the next step here even though i have so much iridium as it is yeah we've got super alley rods three super alley rods we've got three iridium we've got four iridium rods um, I need to jump dump some stuff here. I also need to get this all figured out and finished uh, Because it's like taking up space and like I want it to be working, you know, so let's see I have water Let me go drop the water off it here And then let's see we need osmium so we need what nine Nine 
that'll go ahead let's go ahead and head over and grab our um where did i get the fabric from <laughs> i don't know where i'm getting half this stuff from we'll go over here and set this up for iridium all right so or extractor tier three baby let's go right there set this up for the iridium and we'll go ahead and set supply iridium perfect that looks good you know what? Let's go ahead and grab. Wow, there's nothing. There's no iridium in here whatsoever. That's because it's been full for so long. All right, so we'll leave those alone. I'm going to go ahead and drop some more um, random stuff that I just don't need right now. And I want to grab super alloy, osmium. Yeah, super alloy and osmium. Okay, cool. So that looks good. So iridium is good as well. But we also need to go through everything. We need to do all of them. We need to do... Um, iron and titanium and sulfur and uh silicon and we need to do all of those things because we're gonna need to build with all of them anyways so i want to get all of them going but um i also want to get we also need to take a look at what we need to get our first fish egg things going because i still don't see any fish anywhere and let me verify here but i'm like i'm okay current stage is fish and we're 0.01 percent towards amphibians and i don't see fish anywhere because last time when we had insects, the larvae started crawling around outside. They just appeared, right? I don't see any fish eggs anywhere, though. Like, I don't see any fish eggs. I kind of thought that, like the fish would just start appearing, you know? But I, I guess there, there's something I'm not doing correctly or something. Something's going on because I'm not doing it right. So I think in order to get the first fish eggs, I really need to get to this uh, fish provost eggs so with 39 kilotons of biomass. So uh, I'm trying to find the things that give us the most biomass. Um, and I think if I'm not mistaken, I actually think it's the biodome with the, is it the biodome with the golden butterflies in it? Oh, that's oxygen multiplier. See, these are insect multipliers. I don't really care about the insect multipliers. I want the, I need biomass is that the tree cedars plants plus 1.25 kilograms per second hmm i think by isn't biomass a combination of yeah okay so biomass wait terraformation oxygen heat pressure and then Plants, insects, animals, overall is biomass, right? So if I want more biomass, I need to get more plant stuff going. And then here's our overall terraformation. Uh, so oxygen, once we get to 155, we'll get water life collector, collect photoplankton and fish eggs. Oh, maybe I need to start here. <gasps> oh, I bet you I need, I bet you I need to start there. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. So let's go see what is our oxygen. Uh, what's our oxygen rocket percentage right now? Can we go ahead and increase that by a lot? Um, where's that? So auctions at 2000. Per oh, that's the lowest one. Oh my gosh. We seeds seed spreader rocket. We need seed spreader rockets. Okay. We need those. St that's what we're doing. We're going to launch a bunch of those. Um, actually, I don't even have a launch platform anymore. <gasps> oh, I forgot. I took it down. Um, two iron and two super alloy. Okay. Let's get that going. Oh my gosh. That's maybe that's been holding us back this whole time. So one super alloy. Okay, let's, yeah, let's go get a launch pad uh, placed. I can't even, yes, I can. I can believe that. That's the kind of stuff that I do. That is the stuff that I do. Let's go ahead and place that. Um, I feel like right here might be a good spot. Can we place that like right in here somewhere? Perfect. Okay. So we want a seed spreader rocket. Plants rocket. Plants multiplier 1,000. Drones visualization rocket displays drones on the mapping screen. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that right now. All right, so 
rocket engine super alloy fertilizer fertilizer seed lirma and tree bark so that is gonna be our goal we're gonna send up a bunch of those bad boys you know i'm actually <laughs> seed lirma. oh we got a bunch right here okay <laughs> i was like wait where's our seed lirmas um so i want to go ahead and get five i'm gonna see if we can do five rockets here okay i think i actually have just enough for five rockets so that's going to take us to 7,000% multiplier from a 2,000% multiplier. That should help us a little bit. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Because then that's going to give us the fish catching thing. Which then might be exactly what I need to actually make this happen. So let's go ahead and let's make our plant rocket. Alright, there we go. And then, like I said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to launch all... I'm just going to launch all of these right now. And uh, hopefully we get some good movement here. Goodbye, rocket. Bye, rocket. Okay. I'm not actually sure how a rocket's going to help us, but hey, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> it sounds good to me. Oh, no. I just realized I'm doing the wrong rockets. No, not the plants rocket. That's plants multiplier times a thousand. I need oxygen. Seed spreader. I need bacteria and mutagen. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Well, I launched two of the... Oh, well. You know what? It's just going to help us anyway. <laughs> Darn it. I'm glad I, I only launched. That was uh, that was two. I only launched two. So that's fine. Um, I needed mutagen and bacteria. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. I want, I want five. Um, mutagen. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. That's good. So it's actually not. All right. We'll go launch the other three and then we'll come back and try to make the other two. Oh, man. I mean, I guess I mean, a plants multiplier is not a bad thing either. It's just oxygen is really what I, I think we needed because we're at a really low 2000% multiplier. That means we've only launched two oxygen rockets ever. I need some water real quick. Okay, seed spreader rocket. That's what we need. Man, we're sending back to back rockets here. Look at him go. Can you see the other one still? No, he can't see the other one. Okay, I think that's all I have, right? All right, so I need okay uh rocket engine super alloy and tree bark you know what let's just see maybe we, let's take let's see if we can take this to ten thousand percent forget forget stopping at that let's let's see if we can take it to ten thousand percent that might be um that might be a little bit more helpful okay i think we have four rockets worth now let's see what we got so we're at ox oh darn it okay we're gonna be at nine thousand so we'll have to come back and grab another one um Magnetic field rocket. So pressure is at 15,000. Plants is at 8,000 now, which is good. It's That's not a bad thing to have. Uh, but we need to get that oxygen up uh, a little bit more. All right, another four seed spreader rockets. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. A rocket. I built a rocket before the other one was gone. Oh, no. <laughs> What is gonna happen? Does that just stay there forever? Oh my gosh. Hold on, we gotta go look at this thing. It's not every day that you completely mess up a rocket launch. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's so funny. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, I'm out of tree bark. Okay. Let's go see. Uh, well, I'm going to grab the tree bark and then we'll see. We'll make sure. Maybe, I hope that rocket actually counted. Even, then, even though it didn't go anywhere. Hopefully it at least counted. I'm guessing it counts as soon as you press the button to um, to send it. All right. So there is going the last rocket right now. There it goes. Bye-bye. And let's go check. Let's make sure that our percentage is out now. 9,000%. And then we'll do one more. So that way we can get to an even at 10,000%. It is at 9,000. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get one more rocket done here. And that will get us a nice 10,000%. That's like way, that's five, what, five times more than what we were doing before. That is a, uh, a wonderful thing. So I need one, one, two. That'll give us the rocket engine. I need a mutagen and bacteria though. And I don't think I have... Bacteria, I am fresh out of, and mutagen, I'm fresh out of as well. 
So we're gonna have to make those real quick. So bacteria is just algae and water. Oh, I got mutagen right there. Okay, cool. So all I need is the bacteria. Wonderful. So there's bacteria. So we've got mutagen, bacteria. We've got two super alloy and a rocket engine. And oh, I need a um, a tree bark. All right. So here's our final rocket. This is gonna get. This is gonna put us at ten thousand. Now I might need to. Uh, <laughs> I might need to do some AFK rocket launching. We might need to get to like 20, 30,000. I don't know what, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what, what is your like average percentage multiplier that you're running right now? Um, I know we have our pressure at 15,000 and we just got oxygen up to 10,000. I'm just curious, like, is, is that like normal or is that like low or high? You know, cause I'm curious, like, do people have like hundreds of thousands? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of curious, you know? So, all right, that's going well. Uh, let's see. Did that even help anything? Like, I feel like our biomass is still crawling. So auction. Oh, no, auction's going pretty good. 120. It's actively crawling up. So. Uh, tree spreader tier twos would probably be a good thing. Actually, do we have tree spreader tier threes? We have tree tier threes, don't we? Yeah, we have T3 tiers or these I8500. See, that would be huge. Um, and then I have to make a tree to put in it. Are these tiers, tree spreader tier threes? Yeah, they're because they have three uh, three things on them. So two fertilizer tier two, a zeolite, bacteria, tree bark, super alloy. That's not bad. I think we can make that happen. What happens if you put a golden seed? into the tree wow tree bark mutagen and mutagen tier two gives you a tree seed sheer rocks and it's a 450 percent multiplier that's higher than any of these ones what the heck i thought we checked out the uh, the golden seed multiplier one isn't that what we have like out here i thought we had one of these no wow Okay, so if I just mix mutagen tier one and tier two together with a, a tree bark, we can get way better trees. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to get that seed going and then I want to see what else. Okay, so we need um, a bacteria sample and a super alloy. So I just need one algae and then a super alloy. We'll get the bacteria sample going and then and then we'll go ahead and throw up another tree spreader tier three and we'll put that um, big. Oh, wow. I grabbed a lot of algae. Holy <laughs> That's a lot. Um, let's put those back in there if we would. So I need three in order to get a bacteria. And then we'll go grab a super algae and then we'll go grab that tree and we'll set that out. And that'll help a little bit. I mean, having another tree spider tier three that it'll help a little. Oh my gosh, my food supply is full. It's so good. I'm so happy to see that. All right, we got our fancy tree. Let's go and plant this bad boy. Now this tree looks different than, uh... wait, are those the sheer rocks? No, because this is not, no, this is a different tree as well. Let's plant it right here. This looks like a most wonderful spot. Uh, let's go ahead and put this seed in it. I'm actually curious what these trees are gonna look like. Uh, unless it's too dense. <laughs> Maybe the ground is a little too dense already. So what are we generating right here? Oxygen, 38.25 plants, energy growth, 1%. Okay, let's leave that alone. I'm curious to see what that tree is going to look like. That's probably going to be a pretty neat tree. Okay, and then how is our oxygen looking? Okay, oxygen is cruising along now. So... 55 and that's still gonna take a while i really need that to get uh <laughs> even though we got the aquarium already generates animals but yeah this is gonna have to be i'm feel i think this is where we get the fish eggs to start with which makes me think that our oxygen is probably pretty far behind because i mean we're already maxed out uh pressure and heat so yeah oxygen is a little lacking all right, and then while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and get two more uh, Orc Tractor Tier 3s going because we might as well. And then we're going to need... Where's the, my titanium at? 
So titanium, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I want one for iron because iron is like our core building material. So I definitely want an iron one going. We'll go ahead and set that. I don't want it super close because it's kind of loud. So we'll just set it like right over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select iron and we'll go ahead and supply iron. So that'll supply our crates, hopefully full of delicious iron. And then let's see the next thing on the list. Maybe um, aluminum might be a good one as well to go ahead and start getting that one going. Because we got iron, aluminum. Oh, sulfur. You know what? No, sulfur needs to be next. Sulfur is one that once we when because I need to get start getting more mutagen and more um, the bio stuff requires sulfur, I think. So we'll go do sulfur next. I really wish that there was a uh, an option on the inventories to like when we select um oh we have two over here doing sulfur when we select the uh the the chests the crates or whatever it would just be like you know all I wish there, I really wish there was an all button <laughs> because going through like I'd like to have more crates that had uh that had you know the ability to like oh do we can dump our supplies here you know and it'll be it'll be a um a supply crate but going through and selecting every single one of those things is kind of a pain i'm not gonna lie oh look at there goes our little drone buddy he just went through the mountain <laughs> there's uh, i love them they're so cool oh we're we gonna beat him out Let's see where did he go he should be coming out like right here somewhere There he is. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I love them. The drones are the best thing. They're the best thing. Okay. So let's see. Let me see what I needed sulfur for here. So I need to sulfur for uh, fertilizer and mutagen. Okay. So let's throw the sulfur in. Uh, do we not have a sulfur? What? Why not have a sulfur one? Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and can we build a sulfur? Let's build a sulfur one. I can't believe I don't have sulfur one. All right, now we have a sulfur one. That's so weird. I can't believe I didn't have that set up. Now, eventually what we could do is we could actually have like everything automated too. Uh, we already have fertilizer tier two being made. I mean, we could automate mutagen and have that going because um, how things work, if you if kind of tying to the, the systems that we already had available is these auto crafters right here, they pull from this ring. So essentially you just have to have one storage for each type of um, each type of thing. And then this would be a demand chest. Those would be a supply chest um, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it, we, we could definitely have a whole bunch of stuff going and actually that I really want to do that. I really want to get into that, but we need a lot of building. We're going to have to like, we're going to have to have a lot of base building going on here <laughs> kind of getting this stuff going. Um, it's going to be a little wild. So that's why I want to get like this basic stuff set up first, uh, set that, yeah, set that stuff up first and going and then, um, kind of go from there, but let me go ahead and let me take down, I'm going to go take down those other two just cause I don't feel it. Well, I guess we could leave them up. I mean, they're not hurting anything right now. Anyways, they're taking power, but power is not is kind of a non issue right now. So maybe I'll just go ahead and put those on export um, or on demand. And then they can maybe demand the like random stuff, the magnesium and um, cobalt and whatnot. So that'll be our main sulfur one. Yeah, let me just go ahead and do that. Let's set this one up to be a um, so we'll go ahead and supply. It can do sulfur. What else do we have in there? Um, titanium, iron, magnesium, oh, cobalt, and cobalt. So, yeah, we'll just let that supply everything. And it'll kind of fill up the other things a little bit as well. So that works. And then we really should probably go get an aluminum one going as well. Because the problem with setting that up like that is that if one of those resources get full, they're just going to start stockpiling in there. And it's going to fill it up and then you're not going to really get anything out of it. So that's why I don't want to rely on that to get my, uh, to core my core resources. So we'll go ahead and we'll get a, um, we'll get an aluminum one set up as well. Okay. So we like, we have this guy right here, so we can actually, why don't we, we might as well, let's go ahead and just set up, um, supply 
uh, cobalt, basically everything here. So that can all be supplied. And then I'll go ahead and set up our new miner. Uh, tier three, go in here and we want aluminum and then this will supply aluminum. Okay. So that's all good. Now I do need to figure out the, um, I do need to figure out the priority system because what I'm thinking we're gonna do is my main storage room uh, where I have all my crafting stuff, that's gonna be priority zero. And then from there on, anything that I do auto crafting wise, I'm gonna set that as the next priority. So it will always keep my room full first. And then after that, it can start doing the automated crafting stuff and moving things from point A to point B. But I always want to fill my crafting room first, just in case I need to manually make anything real quick. You know what I'm saying? So um, I want this room to be priority one or priority zero. So I don't know how priority zero works. I don't know if priori priority zero is just like a, just like a random priority or if it's higher than priority one or if it's the lowest priority, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes priority one is the one or sometimes priority three is like the highest. So I'm not sure how that works. Um, I should try to figure that out. Actually, you know what I can do? Let's do this. Let's set this as priority zero and let's set this as priority one. And so this one has, uh, it is almost, it has three rows left. This one has three rows of plus one. We'll see which one gets filled up first. Actually, I should set up another one with priority th two and priority three, just to make sure like how it works, you know? Cause like if this one fills up first, that doesn't necessarily answer the answer of is priority zero higher than priority one, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. We'll wait and see. Oh, let's go look at our trees. Do we have any new trees? <gasps> we do. These ones. Are these the Shirox trees? These look like mushrooms. Those are them. Cause look at them grow. Oh, it makes sense. If they're made of mutagen, like they're just like mushroom trees, pretty much. <laughs> they're mutated trees. Disgusting. They actually kind of look gross. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, so it filled up this one first. So priority zero is the highest priority. Priority, so it did not add one to there. It added it to here. Okay, so now we know. Now we know priority zero is the highest priority. So we have zero, I think there was zero, one, two, three, and four, which is good to know. So these are all gonna be priority zero. And then um, from there on, if I wanna do any automated stuff, like automated crafting, or whatever, those are gonna be priority like one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then actually, honestly, probably be the highest priority, like the lowest priority. So that way, just in case, you know, we come along with anything, it's like, oh, this one needs to be a little bit more important, you know? Oh, uh, we could always do that. So I'm really excited to check that out, but we gotta let things kinda like, I gotta let the miners do their thing, you know? We gotta, um, let's see, iron wise, like we don't have enough iron. You know what, we might need more, I think we need more drones. Now that I'm thinking about it, I have. A, I bet you we need more drones. We have a lot of stuff going on now. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get some more drones in here. So we need more uranium. Um, one, two, one, two. And uh, oh, they keep filling that uranium up. I was like, where does this uranium keep coming from? Okay, so I have enough for uh, two more drone. Oh, did I not grab the circuit boards? I clicked on them. I must not have grabbed them. Okay, there's the circuit boards. Or did I grab something else? I might have grabbed something else entirely. All right, so there's another one. All these things are super cool. So let's see, six drone tier one. Oh, tier one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Tier one, you say? <laughs> now leaves room for tier two and tier threes. Oh, that's exciting stuff. Uh, so five drones are supplying. One is demanding right now. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we might need to get. We just need more drones going here. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open one of these guys. Throw it in here. Uh, holy moly. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some more drones going too. <gasps> uh oh, one, two, three, four. We uh, we have an event. What event is this? Uh, is that pulsar quartz? I need pulsar quartz. Definitely need the pulsar quartz here. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and grab some. Uh, we have a second to before it hits. One. Oh, circuit board. Darn it. I have four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Where did that land? Right here? All right, let's go check this out. Always need that pulsar quartz. 
Absolutely. As soon as I can figure out where the heck it is. Where's all the goodies? There's one. Oh, they don't glow very bright in the water, huh? Are they all under there? I actually don't see them anywhere. Do they go further away? Here's another one. Man, last time they were all in the same spot, it was super easy to grab them. I don't even know where they went. I definitely feel like they're under some of these rocks. It's also not easy to see them because they don't really glow. You know, it's actually, is that a change? Because they used to glow really, really bright. Well, no, it was the, uh, the iridium and the uranium used to glow really bright underwater. But maybe, maybe the pulsar didn't. I don't know. All right, we'll have to come back to this because I don't see any more. And we only got, what, three? No way. No way. All right, so hold on. I want to look at my drones again. So we've got 10 drones and they're still all working. See, they're all still running around doing stuff. You know, we might have to wait until this uh, some of this rock despawns. So I just don't see any anywhere else. Alrighty, well, I think that is probably going to actually end this episode. We did a lot with the um, the new extractors, the new ore extractor tier 3s. I actually wanted to see, where's my uh, sulfur at? I want to see how the sulfur was looking. Holy mo- I mean, I brought a lot of that over myself, so I can't- It's not like crazy a lot, but that's, that's pretty good. Uh, that's- it, I mean, it's on its own too, so these keep refilling, which is super nice. Our Osmium is refilling, which is super nice. Yeah, things are just going really nice. I, I'm really happy with um, with what's going on. I'm really happy with the drones. The drones are super great. And honestly, like there's just so much. The drones added so much to do now. Um, with the combination of the drones, just, I, I mean, moving things from point A to point B is super nice. But then the combination of the drones and these, like that gives you, like anything you can craft in here, you can use the drones to help you with it. It's, it's gonna be, it's, it's crazy, so very cool stuff i'm very excited but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, share the videos you see fit you know or if you want to hang out in the discord or follow on twitter or anything else if you want to do anything extra you can but you don't have to it's okay um yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one